Hello, I'm Lori Vick with University Hospitals and welcome to The Health Difference. Hearing loss can be devastating at any age, but especially in a young adult like Amy Haslidge, who was afraid she'd lose her job if she lost her hearing. Communicating with patients is one of the things Amy Haslidge loves about being a registered nurse. So when she gradually started losing her hearing, she was fearful her career could be over. I was a little scared and worried because I am in the medical field and I do need my hearing to take care of patients. A brain MRI revealed she suffers from neurofibromatosis 2, a disorder in which tumors grow on the auditory nerves. She was referred to Dr. Lisa Rogers, medical director of the neuro-oncology program of UH's Neurological Institute. It's very difficult to remove these tumors without damaging the nerve for hearing. So very often, a tumor can be successfully removed, but the patient is left with complete deafness. With surgery not a good option, Dr. Rogers suggested a new drug therapy. Well, this medication is given intravenously, and the drug targets specifically the blood vessels feeding the tumor. Thereby, it stunts the growth of the tumor, or in some instances, actually shrinks it, and the hearing improves. We're very excited about this new medication because people like Amy with NF2 it's a huge quality of life issue to lose their hearing at a young age. So for Amy, it's made a huge difference in her quality of life. When you start to lose one of your senses, you become withdrawn. And then when it's given back, you become more confident and um, you look at life a little bit differently and you start enjoying it more. For more information or to get a doctor referral, call 866-UH4CARE anytime, night or day, or visit our website. Because at University Hospitals, our doctors make the difference.